fire ignites passion and creativity. Free your imagination with the slim, sleek and beautiful new Huawei P8. Instagram has been a runaway success everywhere it has emerged. But there's one account that I follow that I really love and it's not at New York. It's at South Africa and it is the brainchild of a great guy called Craig Rodney who's taken over the handle and runs it like an advert for the beauty of South Africa. What you do is you curate some of the best photo photographs from some of the best photographers and you put it in one place and it is, as you intended, a really fantastic advert for the country. Yeah, it's not the most creative way of profiling South Africa because I use other people's photos, so it's really easy for me. Uh, but I just spend time, spend time trying to find good photos and, and I have a very simple rule around what to feature. If I like the photo, it goes up. If I don't like the photo, it doesn't go up. And so I just make- It's a bit like the art instinct. Yeah, as, lo as, long as, I make, as long as I make myself happy, as long as it's something that makes me proud, then, then it can go up. And um, there's pros and cons to that. But, but now that it's been going for about two years and you actually look, there's over, over a thousand photos there. And I mean, it's some of the most incredible imagery of our country. It's amazing. It is indeed. And a, a, a great thing that's coming up soon is your Insta meet. I mean, these are get togethers Instagrammers have around the world, but you've chosen the most difficult place to reach for everybody, right? <laughs> yes. Grafrenet. Yes. It's not the most difficult place to reach, but it's definitely out of the way. The, um, so these, these Insta meets happen all across the country. You know, guys get together and go take photos. And this, this m culture of getting together and meeting people and becoming mates and stuff is a very big element to Instagram. It is. And in South Africa, it's even, even, it's even stronger than other places in the world. And so I felt a, a bit of a responsibility running the At South Africa account that, that, you know what, someone needs to do a national meet. Someone needs to get everyone from all the cities together and like, let, let's, see if it, let's see if we can do it. Uh, so I thought the fairest thing to do is to inconvenience everyone equally and pick a point as close to the middle of the country as possible and a town that very few people have photographed. When you look at the grand scheme, I spend my life looking at photos of South Africa, but often it very, very rarely features. So, so I thought it'd be nice to, to kind of put a magnifying glass on an amazing town mm. Mm. Uh, and we're doing it over four days. So it's a, it's, it's a big commitment for people to go. But um, so far, Listen, it's been good. I, I have actually driven through Krafrenet. I've spent some time there. I've been to the Owl House, obviously nearby. Yes. I think it's a great idea. It is a, a beautiful, you were saying earlier, it's one of those places that there just aren't lots of pictures. But now there's the possibility for that to happen. I think, uh, I think, I think a lot of people, as you said, you've driven through Krafrenet. I think a lot of people drive through Krafrenet. <laughs> Uh, I want people to stop in Krafrenet now. Thank thankfully, I've got friends at SA Tourism who, who came to the party to make this thing happen because Krafrenet doesn't often get profiled at this level, but having 400 people with access to a global audience telling beautiful South African stories, that's part of their mandate, right? So, so you know, they, they, they backed me on this, and so I've got to do them proud now. But I think it'll be great. Well, I'd just like to say to uh, South Africa's self-appointed ambassador on Instagram, thank you for doing a very good job. It's a pleasure, Ambassador thank you. Rodney.